Hello friends of NCC, my name is Bruce Kirkby and uh, in 2010 I was lucky enough to be assigned uh, a story by Canadian Geographic on the Darkwoods property and I just want to share a little bit of what I saw and learned uh, during the eight months that I worked on that story. So Darkwoods is really veiled largely in secrecy. I'm a resident of the East Kootenays, but if you went around the local towns in the backwoods around here, a lot of people wouldn't even know what you were talking about if you asked about Darkwoods at that time, even though it was a 55,000 hectare parcel of land. It was like really finding a national park that had been born by the desires of Canadians to preserve part of our natural heritage. And, and it was a story I've, you know, I've worked as a journalist on environmental and outdoor issues for 20 years. And it was one of the stories that really touched me the deepest, where I saw individuals' cares and concerns and ideology manifest itself in this physical and a monumentally physical huge thing. So I, I went to that property uh, in the midst of winter and you know you're up there in the high Selkirks with the kind of shattered rock peaks and the deep valleys dropping away and by the time we skied down to, to Kootenai Lake, uh, it was March, uh, up in the high mountains it was still you know full on winter but but down in the lake it was spring with bird song and melt the, you know, the melt was underway so that's one of the incredible properties of Darkwoods is that it traverses such uh, extraordinary um, vertical relief and allows for adaptation as, as climate changes and it's of course home to many many different species from the big notable from bears and, and caribou and wolverine uh, and all the others that are contained within that umbrella which brings me to the last part that I wanted to pass on and that was when I was working on that story there was always the lingering sense that the, not the heart of Darkwoods, but a area within the heart of that property was missing, which was Next Creek. And physically, you can see it on the map, the, this huge kind of fragment missing at the very heart or core of that property. And, and when I heard that NCC had the, the opportunity now to purchase that property and make Darkwoods whole, if you were, I found that so incredibly heartening because it really is the final piece uh, in the, the Southern Selkirks. Um, so from someone unassociated with NCC, I, I want to thank you for your interest in helping Canada and Canadians maintain these extraordinary landscapes. Uh, I just feel it's so important in this time of uh, Canadians moving away from, from wilderness areas and living more and more in urban areas. That, that we're able to protect some of these last wild pieces of, of our country.